Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, convex quadrilateral B, C, D, E such that uh, B, D and uh, E, C are its uh, diagonal as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get uh, four triangles such that the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, A sub 1. The area for this uh, pink triangle is uh, A sub 2. The area for this yellow one is A sub 3. And finally, the area for this uh, green triangle is uh, A sub 4. And now we are going to prove that the product of uh, these uh, two opposite uh, triangles uh, a sub 1 times A sub 3 is going to be equal to the product of these two other opposite triangles A sub 2 times A sub 4. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the proof. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and drop uh, perpendiculars from this point uh, E and from this point uh, C onto this uh, diagonal uh, BD. As you can see in this uh, next diagram, these are our two perpendiculars and these angles are 90 degrees each. Let me go ahead and call this uh, perpendicular this one. I'm going to call its height uh, X and for this perpendicular I'm going to call this height uh, Y. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle. Now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. And in our case for this uh, blue triangle the base is uh, BF whereas the height is uh, X. So therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be simply A sub 1 equals to a half time base in our case is BF times height is x. Let me call this our equation number 1. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of uh, this uh, green uh, triangle. We know its base is uh, this uh, FD and the height uh, is uh, x. So therefore the area of this green triangle represented by A sub 4 is going to be a half times uh, df times height is x. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 2. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle whose uh, base is uh, df and its uh, height is uh, y. So therefore the area represented by a sub 3 equals to a half times uh, df times height is y. Let me call this one our equation number 3. And finally let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle whose base is bf and wh whose height is y. As you can see over here a sub 2 equals to a half times bf times height is y. Let me call this our equation number 4. Now let's go ahead and multiply this equation 1 and equation 3. So therefore let's go ahead and multiply the left hand side. A sub 1 times A sub 3 is going to be equal to a half times BF times X equals to for area 3 the right hand side is a half times DF times y. Now in this next step I am going to rearrange them. I'm going to switch this uh, bf and uh, df their positions. I'm going to just move them around. And here in this next step I move this uh, df over here and bf over here. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And in this uh, next step I use the commutative property. So I just simply switched their position as you can see over here and this part now represents our equation 4 which is a sub 2 and this represents our equation number 2 which represents a sub 4. So therefore our right hand side is going to become a sub 2 times a sub 
4. So thus we have proven that uh, a sub 1 times a sub 3 is indeed equal to a sub 2 times a sub 4 and that's our proof. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.